There's one rule. Always get your kid to do it. Here it comes. Oh, oh yeah. Go now. Make me He wants a little blonde boy. Who's your favorite? I don't think he even cares. I mean, he's just like, I love you, mate. We got any more food, anyone? There's some by that bucket. Oh, there's some there too. No food? Oh, thank you, thank you, mate. Oh, there he goes, he's got it now. No. No. <laughs> what are you doing now? Funny, but oh, he wants a chicken. Mm. There we go. Hard chopsticks. Big hand for Robert. Woo! Let's go, Okay, now this really shows you exactly what crocodiles are about. You notice that on land, he's like a little bit of a fish out of water. And a lot of people think that, you know, when a crocodile comes out of the water, you've got a zigzag. You know, as it's coming out, you do this. But stick with the zig and keep zigging, because I can be pretty comfortable. I can lay here and get up quicker than he can chase me, because he's built like a torpedo. But I tell you what, if I go down there in the water, and I get within that, that length from the water, he can vault out so hard and fast that I won't have time to blink. That is the art of a crocodile. You know, they don't come out and chase. They sit just below the surface, the water's dirty. When the animal comes down to have a drink, especially if it goes into the water, like as soon as you go to a croc's water, straight away, as you see, they really, really don't like it. So in most cases, well in all cases, people are either on the edge, or they uh, are swimming, or they're in a boat hanging over the edge, or something close to the water. Very, very rare any other way. And that is simply because they're not comfortable on land. Now, it's just like fellas, oh no, girls, if someone came into your house in the middle of the night and uh, grabbed your husband, what would you do? I guess it depends on your husband. But it's exactly the same. In the water, this is the crocodile's territory. And as long as you stay out of it, you'll never have a problem. But as far as actually how crocodiles operate, we'll show you now how they operate. Okay, great. But it's a good example. Thanks for getting out of the water. All right, we've got a nice big food item, so we'll see if we can show you exactly how Big Al would react in the wild. First of all, the crocodiles are the unseen predator. So they try stealth mode. They sneak up on anything they sense is near the water's edge. They can sense vibration through these tiny little vibrating receptors on every single scale. It's a little black dot. So he knows exactly where a little animal is on the riverbank, or in Chris's case, a big muscly animal, without even seeing it. <laughs> he lines up the strike. As soon as the pig gets too close, that's when he's going to strike. Bang! And he grabs that pig. He misses it, but the pig's really thirsty and doesn't leave. Like a sight pig. Once he's grabbed that piece of pig, he tries instinctively to get it back into the water because he knows he needs to drown it very quickly. So he uses a few techniques. Death roll! You little gripper! We have a death roll! He'll roll an animal off its feet or just fling it through the air to drown it very quickly. So what Chris is doing is he's simulating a struggling pig. Death roll again! Woo-hoo! Two death rolls. Look at your little white belly. So he's trying really hard to kill that pig. Chris is trying really hard to fight. Three death rolls! This is awesome. Three death rolls. The pig's still fighting. Fantastic. Four death rolls! I feel like an auctioneer. Do I hear five? No, he gets... Oh, we do have five. Yay! Good job, Chris. Big Al, did you get that pig all by yourself? Who's a clever boy? Isn't he awesome? Just a wonderful design by nature, being this incredible aquatic predator. Now he's going back over to look for the food that was at the ramp. 
and now he looks confused. He's coming over to me. I might move. See, it's time for him to go home, but he's coming back out. He's acting confused. There's a reason for that, and it's a scientific reason, so I'll explain it slowly. See, Big Al is a male crocodile, and he knows if he tries to go home through that labyrinth, that maze of canal systems, and he gets lost, he cannot ask for directions. <laughs> you have to pretend you know right where you are. I'm not lost. Don't worry about the GPS. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, funny, isn't it? That's actually how you tell a male from a female crocodile. There is actually a way to tell a male from a female crocodile. It's pretty simple. You'll notice now that this guy's finished feeding, his mouth's closed. <laughs> <laughs> now, if he was a female, it'd be like, I don't know. There's actually a, they have a genetic trait for females. They actually have a flatal valve, which stops the water going in their belly so they can open their mouth open. I think I'm safe with the crocodile. <laughs> no, well, no, that's very joking. funny. That's hilarious. But Robert, seriously, we do have to get him all the way home, and he's yeah. had a feed. So how do you think we should lure him all the way home? Yeah, that's a good question. I think to lure him all the way home, I think we need to infringe on his territory. 